Hi, good people. Good day once again. Now we are still continuing with uh, this question two. Now we are at two point two point. Uh, what called I two? The question here says, determine the largest value of n. Determine the largest value of n for which t n t n is greater than five over eight one nine two. How do I approach a question like that? What is it that the examiner has done here? The examiner is using language to confuse you. Don't allow that. Do not be confused by the examiner. Do not be confused by English. I mean, all that we are saying here is that you see, like, find. I'm just going to simplify it in our own what call like language, right? Find the value of n. You are used to that question like in your mind. But once I say the largest value of, you, you become so confused. Don't be confused. All that is important for you here is to find the value of n, full stop. Now, 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 now. The question says, no, like, for which tn? So they are giving you what now? Tn, Tn is the term number, right? They are saying to you now like, the term number is greater than five over eight, one, nine, two, right? And then you're like, the way they give you that value, it is very much confusing. In fact, even the series itself, the way they gave it to you, it was so confusing. Five over eight, five over 16, 5 over 32, hey, 5 over 8192. 8, now as a student you become, you, you become so confused and you become scared of such figures. Do not be scared. Now, what do you do in a, in a case like this, right? Ask yourself, is there a simpler way that I can use to, to, to write my numbers? I'm just playing an example. To me, I'll say here, instead of writing 8 here, I'll say 8 is made by 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3 here. 16 is made by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the power 4. This is 2 to the power 5, etc, etc, etc. Now you'll see now like, with 8192, with 8192, 8192 here, this thing here will simply be 5 over 2 to the power 13, for example. I would, then it becomes easier for me, for my mind. Let's go now. Now, what is the formula for Tn? You don't memorize formulas. You will be given this formula like during your work like exam. The formula for this now is Tn will always be given by A to the power what? A to the power uh, AR to the power N minus 1. That's the formula for your term number. It's equal to what? A times R to the power N minus 1. Full stop. Right? Now, how do I go about this now? How do I go about this now? Remember, we said A is the first term. A is the first term. Let's come over here now. Like A is equal to? 5 over 8, are you with me? Which is equal to 5 over 2 to the power 3. Full stop. What is my R here? We've already calculated R, right? R we found last time to be equal to what? 0 0.5. 0 0.5, if I write it in the fashion of 2, it will be 1 over 2. 2 to the power what? 2 to the power 1. Positive 1, that's very important. Let's, let, let's put it there. What about M? M is what we want to find out. That's our question mark in this case. Now let's go and attack the what call like the, 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 the question here now. Here I will say A R to the power N minus 1 needs to be greater than what call like uh, the value that I'm given there for, 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 for Tn, it's supposed to be greater than what? 5 over what? 
8192, which is supposed to be greater than what? 5 over 2 to the power what? Then up 13. Then I just I just put it like that. What is my a then? A is 5 over 8. Right? Multiplied by what now? By r. R is what? R is 1 over 2. All to the power what? N minus 1. It's better if I, if I write it like that. Are you with me? Now, this one, let me also change it because I've changed it there. This will be 5 divided by, we said it's 2 to the power 3. Then into, into, here if I want, right? Uh, what, is that, what is that I can do here now? Like I can simply say here that now like this is going to be my 1 over 2 to the power n minus 1. Let's just hold it like that there. 5 over 2 to the power 13. Let's go now. Can you see now? I can remove this now and take it to the other side. I will multiply here by what? 2 to the power 3 over 5 in order to get rid of this term. If we eat fish on the left hand side, we must eat fish on the right hand side. Multiplied by, what is my fish? It is 2 to the power 3 all over what? 5. Do you see that now? Eh? Why? Because 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 5 once, 2 to the power 3 goes here once, 2 power 3 goes here once, 1 times 1 is 1 divided by 1 times 1 is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 times this, then I am left with 1 over 2. I can write 1 over 2, in this case now like, as 2 to the power minus 1, right? And minus 1. I'll, I'll show you the reason why I, I, I want to write it as 2, right? Which is greater than, now can you see now like here? 5 goes here once, 5 goes there once, 1 times 2 to the power 3, it's 2 to the power 3, all over 2 to the power 13, which is equal to, if the bases are the same, what do I do about the indices when I, what call I, I mean about exponents, then I will have to, when I divide them, I will have to subtract them, this will be 2 as my base, 3 minus 13, greater than, 2 to the power negative 10. So here, yeah, can you see now that like, I've got a base? Here I have 1 over 2. Then I converted 1 over 2 into 2, which is also a base. So that at the end, I must have a base that is 2 and a base that is 2. So in this case now, like what will happen now? Like negative 1 times n, this will be 2 to the power negative n. Negative 1 times negative 1. This will be positive what? 1. Then what do I get here now? 2 to the power negative 1 plus 1. Now, if I've got this same base, same base, then I leave the bases. Then I only take the what now? The exponents. Therefore, therefore, this will be minus n plus 1. Minus n plus 1 is greater than then the exponent there. Minus 10. I have dropped the basis. So it's minus n plus plus 1 greater than minus 10. Let's finish it on the side here. Let's finish it on the side here. Let's finish it on the side here. On the side here. Therefore, this will be negative n greater than. Take positive 1 to the other side. Minus 10 minus 1, which is greater than. Da -da -da. Minus 10, minus 1 gives me minus 11. Then I'm left here with what? Minus n. Then if I divide or, or, or multiply by n, this will be positive, by negative 1, this will be positive, neg positive, positive, what call like n. Then I'll be forced to change the sign to less than, right? Because I am changing like the sign here. Then, then this will be what now? Positive 11. So n will have to be what? Less than 11 in this case. Right? Now, if I wanted to know, like, you could solve this, you could solve this, you could solve this, and find out what is 5 over 
8192 to give you a certain value 0 0.00 blah 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 right now when your n is 11 here now like you could say 5 over 2 to the power whatever value there then now you find that like this now like it holds you know it will give you a value like this i'll show you like in the next example another way that you could use to find this value and i'll give you another method in the next class right but this is how we find like n in this case right thank you very much i'll see you in the next class